the Lord. And that is why y'all just heard why I'm always talking about how powerful this woman of God is, because she is absolutely a blessing to the kingdom. And now the power couple I talked about, we are here right now with the power couple. They are absolutely going to bless you. And I want to tell you something. I'm stressing something to you. They are so powerful in so many areas. But if you are out there and see my heart and my passion is for leaders and ministers. If you're out there and you know you need to get that business piece so that you can go to that next place, you need to contact this couple. If you have a business, if you have uh, any kind, anything that God has given you to grow and to share with people, you need to contact this couple because they are absolutely blowing up, not just here in Atlanta, but all over the world. They both, they do minister together, but they minister separately too. And they both just came out of powerful uh, conferences and meetings, and they're going to talk to you about it. But right now we have with us, I'm excited, I'm excited, we have with us Danita and Dorsey. Let me say, they have a complicated name, so I got to make sure I get it right. You got it. <laughs> Ogondaga. And they are so powerful, I'm telling you, and I'm just excited. The husband, Dorsey, he works with, he's worked with Dr. Creflo Dollar, he's worked with T.D. Uh, Jakes. They are a power couple, and here they are with us, and we want to welcome them. How are you guys doing tonight? Doing fine. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for having me. I love it. I love it. And I just want to say congratulations on having your baby, because last time you were here, yes. you were in full form, oh, yeah. weren't you? <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Praise God. You look beautiful tonight. Thank you. So I know we don't have a lot of time, so we probably have about 16, 17 minutes, so we're going to okay. get right into it. You just came out of a conference. Talk about that. Yes. Um, uh, pastors Octavia and Derek Roberts with Open Wings Ministries had invited me to be a part of their tour called The Help. Yeah. So we just came from McGee, Mississippi, and it was an Praise awesome time God. in the Lord. Um, they asked me to come and talk about grief and um, restoration. Yeah. And for those that have followed me on social media, you'll know that my background in social work as a behavioral therapist has really taught me in really personal experiences of losing my parents, how to assist people with dealing with grief. Right. And just out of that, the Holy Spirit, out of my own deliverance, has just shown me how the orphan spirit plays a part in us not accepting the unconditional love of God. Yeah. And oftentimes we'll get saved and we'll stop there. We won't realize the activation that's been the theme of tonight yes. that's necessary for us to continue walking into the things of God. Yes. So it's, it's actually necessary. And for those people who are not as well versed and as prophetic as you are and may not understand what the orphan spirit is, talk about that for us. The orphan spirit is anything that we do um, that puts ourselves in, in place of receiving love out from outside sources. We close down the unconditional love that God can provide. We use people, places, things, performance, our own um, boundaries or whatever to come in and be a filler where we need to allow God to come in and do the work. And oftentimes he is blocked from going in and healing us in those places that we need to be healed yeah. and he can't work. So we allow self-performance, self-effort to take over. Praise God. I love that. I, if we have a chance, we're coming back to that. But the <laughs> deliverance, you, you're strong. You're strong Praise in deliverance. God. Now talk about that for us. Well, it was something that I always ran away from because I did not understand it and how it fit in. My mother and father were ministers themselves and I always knew how to pray so intercession is very important to me but as I began to go through my own deliverance as Apostle Rand was talking about it began to show me that there are levels of things that we choose not to deal with in this life we choose to take the good but not the bad yeah. but if we are to give God our all we have to give him all of us the good and the bad so he oh, can yeah. get the glory for it all he'll come out he'll heal us and then we'll be able to be activated into our purpose. Amen. And and th they're going to be talking about uh, a worldwide tour that they're going to be doing uh, for activation. So they are very prophetic. So they are anointed to activate you into so many different areas. And they're going to talk uh, uh, more about that. But listen, a woman of God, y'all just excite me because you all have such a huge footprint on social media. Talk about that, the importance of that. Well, you excite us too. I just want to say that as well. We, it's an honor to be here with you tonight. Um, Darcy will tell he is you, the um, guru, you know, and he's he? going to just share. I'm just going to just share real quick. Um, when God called him to do social media, we had just got married. And I thought, you know, from a, you know, behavioral therapist or whatever, doctoral student, I thought that it was my purpose for us to work nine to fives. I thought that's what we were supposed to do to make our parents proud. Right. And when God began to show us that he was being called to social media, I completely said, no, I don't understand this. Mm -hmm. 
but that was the thing that that has really saved us you know it has really brought us to a higher calling in God Glory because God. all he I was trying to do was to give people a voice mm -hmm. and using social media as a platform and he does we can talk awesome about job. the pews we can talk about the pews but it's what are we trying to do to reach the people wherever that's they right. are that's right you know and I just thank God for that social I, media I, I is, is you, awesome you got you I, I read a post that you posted and it just blew my mind because we're here in Atlanta currently but you said to you said I want to just give a shout out to those who've been listening to all of my um, uh, my DVDs and my, my all of my information yes. and she said I want to shout out to Kenya I want to shout out to Uganda it's and true. So, uh, South Africa I was like blown away it's but true. they know how to use all of the platforms it's true. all of the social media all of media yes. in order to get the word out and let me tell you something people if you are working for the kingdom of God in any area you need to contact them because they're going to take you to the next place. I know it's true. It happened for me. This the man of God, Dorsey. I call him my prophet. I call him marketplace prophet. I call him my marketplace prophet because this guy, I don't care where he sees me, he'll stop me and say, "Look, this is what you need to do. Whatever he tells me to do, I do it yes. because it always works." This guy is powerful. I call him a genius. He is a genius when it comes to uh, uh, marketing anything, and he knows how to use media. Talk to me, man of God. Thank you so much. First of all, you know, Dr. Deborah, you see, you know, everything started the way God blessed us was with um, the ability to absorb everything that we see and hear. So all this information is going to our subconscious and through the research, everything that we do on a daily basis, 90% is coming from our subconscious. So we don't even know what we are doing, we're just doing it according to what we've been exposed to. So the enemy really understand how we function. So all he has to do is just to infiltrate the way we think on a daily basis mm -hmm. through any type of medium, books, music, movies, or the media. So it doesn't need to build a church to destroy us because we're going to church four hours a week for the one who, are, you know, who love God. Mm -hmm. But we cannot change the world in four hours a week. That's right. So we have to mm -hmm. find a way to utilize the media to be able to retake and retrain our mindset. Mm -hmm. So therefore, now we can think on love on automatic because love is unlimited knowledge. Mm -hmm. So you know, the devil attacking us according to our lack of knowledge. So the ignorance put us in captivity, mm -hmm. but the knowledge liberates us so we can do what we're supposed to do. Sorry, Scott. Scott. Now, man, God, listen, this guy was born to be international. He was born in Paris, moved to Africa, came back to Paris, came to the United States, and he's all over the world doing international type things. Listen, isn't that what you want? And if that's what you want and that's what you need for your business and for your ministry, take the information off the screen and contact these people because they are going to take you to where you need to be. You just came back from Paris. Tell me yes. what happened. So I went to Paris to uh, my first global tour. You know, we go to different countries and nations uh, in the next few months. And uh, I call it the activation tour. So like my wife, she, she helps you. Uh, get set free and everything and find your purpose but then when you know your purpose in the kingdom what is your assignment Ooh, that's good. because like your assignment that's how you're going to support your pastor that's how you're going to support your church you have to go to the marketplace to the seven mountain of influence so religion politics music music everything that will influence the marketplace and that's where you need to go to be able to take over mm -hmm. your mountain and when you take, you cannot take over if you don't know enough. Right. So there's a way now, I was teaching people how to write a book in seven days, how to put your book in different languages. 82% mm -hmm. uh, of Facebook uh, traffic is coming from outside the United States. 70% mm -hmm. of YouTube views are outside the United States. The internet, 27% of the internet speak English. Mm -hmm. But right now there's more people speaking Chinese on the internet than people speaking English. And Facebook just launched a satellite uh, next month who will give access to internet to three more billion people who don't speak English. So we, we, there's a shift in the atmosphere where we need to position ourselves in the knowledge. So therefore we can receive that knowledge and be able to teach people so therefore they can come to the kingdom.
That was just beautifully put in a nice little package. <laughs> Praise God. So listen, talk about, you have like tons of teaching materials. Mm -hmm. Talk about mm -hmm. those materials. Mm -hmm. for, for example, like, like for tonight, there's a free teaching uh, on my website at darcyogondaga.com. It's totally free. Uh, more than 15 minutes of content for people to really uh, understand the power of media in details to in every aspect of media, from publishing to having your own broadcast, utilizing Periscope, Facebook Live, all this new technology. Because right now, the number one TV network is Facebook. It's mm -hmm. 8 billion views mm -hmm. a day. Yeah. So when you have this type of uh, matrix and data, you have to really utilize that for the glory of God. Praise God. Ah, I'm going to tell you something. This, I'm telling you, this is a little genius couple right here. Ready to go. All right, Praise now God. talk about your materials. You have lots of materials as well out there. Uh, yes, I have a website as well. It's um, www.danitaogandaga.com. And um, you'll be able to connect with all, all the grief resources. I do um, one individual and group coaching. Uh, but in addition to that, I really have written five books. And um, I do online courses that are self-paced that really deal with authenticity, grief, and recovery. So they can connect there. Praise God. All right, man, the guy, you did not tell the people how to contact you. Okay, my website is www.darcyogondaga.com. Darcy Ogondaga, everything. Just Google my name. I'm everywhere. Yeah. And I just love the fact that you did that. Yeah, they are everywhere. Seriously, they are everywhere. If you go on any social media outlet, you can find them. And the material that they're give, giving you and, and, and uh, uh, making available to you is going to really be a blessing to your life. But I love the way you put together your your Paris uh, uh, conference. Talk about that, just the tools that you utilize. I mean, what I, what I utilize for a long time, I, I understand that media is very important. And I was tired of seeing people in 2016 having a conference talking about God and bring back just picture from their phone. So like mm -hmm. there's no voice, there's no no CDs, no DVDs, no replay, no live stream. I said, how are people going to get blessed beyond your uh, your, your building? Mm -hmm. So I create, uh, I have a blessing to be able to have a, a, a traveling studio wherever I'm going. So I record everything and actually today, um, for people who came to the conference, they will have access maybe in a few hours. Uh, sometime tomorrow, access to all the material from Paris. And I went to downtown Paris and did the conference, and people flew from different nations. And, I mean, it was just amazing. God yeah. was really there, and people are blessed. Yeah, it's just, ama it's just amazing, and I just appreciate um, your heart. I appreciate the heart of both of you. you. And uh, I just have to especially say that your husband has been a tremendous blessing to my ministry and to my life because, I mean, from speaking to him and working with him, my the, the people, the, the a number of people that I'm able to reach now yes. has more than tripled. Yes, it has. I'm <laughs> telling you, you know, right? Oh, yeah. It has just, and I'm just excited yes. because you know what God told me? He said that a lot of times our focus is wrong. Yes. He said we have to focus on how many people can we reach with the good news That's or right. with the product or with whatever we have to offer right. and see we don't think like that mm -hmm. you know we think about how much money we're going to make for doing whatever but you know what god told me this he said when you reach the people the money is going to just come oh, yes. just because you're reaching the people That's right. so and guess who talk? god told me that mm -hmm. but god had god told me that after he told me that mm -hmm. <laughs> he told me first and then that. god began to speak to me about mm -hmm. it so listen guys i just want to say that you all are so just a blessing to the kingdom of God. And I'm excited about knowing you. I'm excited about what you guys are doing. And we have about one minute, so I want to ask you quickly, take about 20 seconds and tell me what is God saying in this season? Um, there's been an undoing that has been occurring in the earth, and I just believe that God is really speaking to his people and wanting us to just line up and get in accordance with his will, particularly pastors dealing with the issues of your life so that you can be able to effectively go out and do what God has called you to do.